Welcome back, everyone, to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, as we are continuing to explore the 5.0 Early Access update, in which uh, we are playing as a Baron's Irene. The updated Baron's Irene is this is radically different than when I left you uh, last episode, basically. Uh, we had Lanius Legion get defeated by uh, United Mexican State, and then there's Mexicans. United, well, United Mexican States versus, I guess, Santa Ana. Texas has decided to eat Oklahoma and parts of Louisiana. Wait, Louisiana territories. Yeah, that's right. Um, NCR is now split into three, two-ish, three-ish parts, really, and uh, they're losing to the Mexicans. While we're just kind of having a good old time, we've expanded greatly past a Wyoming and whatnot. But as a reminder, the update for everyone for the 5.0 update, Ashes to Embers, will be released on February 28th, 2024. But we're having a good old time, having lots of fun beating the crap out of these guys. We have 55 divisions, they have up to 114. We delivered 21,000 casualties while taking 1,000 of our own. We're doing all right so far. Uh, we're going to connect these lines so that it's easier to maneuver and get through. And we're just going to try to beat the crap out of everybody. Because that's always fun. That's always fun. So we're going to win in some places, we're not going to win in some places. It is what it is. We do have tanks too. Because nothing says wealth like owning tanks. With a cup of coffee or two. Oh, and we got a few focuses left to talk about. Such as great skies. Man has always wished to soar as birds do, envious of the freedom. Let's use this yearning to our advantage and establish bases so that we may fulfill this need. Pursuit. Oh, what's heavy? Very nice. Uh, love for flight. We love the wind in our in the hair. We cannot deny. We cannot lie. Soaring is where it's at. Say even even more sky. The beauty of the clouds is robbed only by the joy of being amongst them, making them count. To soar is divine, but once the bullets are flying, too, we must pay heed to reality. Every plane counts, and we need to remember that. Quality for the lack of quantity. They're only our planes. Ooh, look at that. As uh, our precious resource, but so are those with the skills to fly them. Our pilots are heroes and should be afforded every chance to succeed. Wide open, above and below. Wyoming is wide as us is, is as wide open as the sky. We can afford to soar under the stars. Those who would destroy us would be caught uh, unawares. And Wyoming wings. If we want to go higher, we'll have to build more wings. Ooh, look at that. Uh, dedicated engines of powered flight were once widespread. Now they will be again. Um, you guys go here? No, you guys go here. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, well, I should have been paying attention because we got uh, the guys are kind of encircled here. Double action shell design, very nice. Yeah, we just got a lot of naval stuff going on now at this point. If anything, actually, I probably will throw you guys back this way. Um, are you actually really encircled? This is not bueno. But once Marshall Republic is gone, the Ruminators are gone, these guys are gone, that'd be very, very good. Uh, let's get rid of you. That's not good. That's not ideal. Go in. That's fine, whatever. Anything here? Robots. Yeah, we're running out of things to get anyway, so. It's fine with me. Let the tanks roll on in. Let's go here too. Um, you know what? I don't think I can do very much against our tanks, which is very nice. So at least keep it open. Rag, stag, candle shop, yes please. And these guys do move pretty fast, which is actually pretty nice. Thermopolis. Uh, you all... Would you like to keep moving forward? Yes, please, yes. The tanks are going to mop mopping them up. I love it. I remember the last time I actually really used tanks. But they're very strong. I mean, this is the template we got. 20 combo width, which is probably an ideal with all the mobile support companies you have and normal motorized infantry. Ooh, that was a lot of coffee. It's kind of hot, so ooh. Armor's not bad. Piercing's decent. Breakthrough's good. Soft attack's good. And the speed is, well, most things can't beat the speed of a tank in Old War Blues. Most of the things. Good. Look at that. Just go in and kill them off. I love it. And even if they can pierce us, we're moving so fast once we beat them. It doesn't even matter. Look at that. That's amazing. I have only three tank divisions, too. It's fantastic. Now they're struggling against four divisions. 1v4. Oh, we're also running out of manpower. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's pretty normal, though. And there goes the infantry. Um, what what is not to love there? God, I forgot how fast motorized can be. That's why sometimes when you play the 80s, it's so much fun because they move so fast. Just beautiful. 
Absolutely beautiful. Could you win there? Ooh, you might not be able to. Here, take you. Get down there too. You just destroy, destroy another division. Oh, oh, you actually. Oh, they'll still be able to win basically by themselves. Oh, that's nice. Tanks are so much fun. That actually. I don't know. Maybe they improve tanks. Maybe I've gotten better tanks. I don't know. Also, this is as much as we've cored. We've cored a lot. We've cored into Utah as well, just because we needed the manpower. We've only got 300 manpower left, so. You do what you have to. New Jerusalem, 14,000, 6,000, 10,000. Provo, 14,000 is probably the best one. Randolph. Yeah. For now. Oh, battle cruiser. Huh. <clears throat> Yo, tanky boys, go. Oh, no, 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 no. There you go. Where you at? Hey, look at the ruminators. Nice. First one to fall. But definitely not the last. Make him count. Even though we're fully done with the land doctrine, or air doctrine, anyways. Uh, are we missing anything here? No, we're pretty good on literally everything but maybe Cass. NCRs. Oh, hello. You're, you're even faster than the motorized. That's awesome. Crop mowers. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, happy July, everybody. Happy July. Good. Oh, come on, get to Rapid City. Just get to Rapid City. Go, 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 go. I know we're very sparse out here at this point, but still. Oh, give me something too. Any other upgrades? He's a life giver. He's inspirational. Uh, motorized demo. We're not using motorized demo. Is there anything for like tanks or lead foot would make sense for us? Motorized attack, organizational also moving. You know what? Lead foot makes sense for us. Can poop out anymore? We need you now, boy. Can you do that? I know you don't have a ton of organization right now. Go go down through here. Oh, hello. Uh, you know what? You're down here. Why not? You, all, you go to where you want to go. Good. Right there, too. Oh, we are going to get encircled. Hello. What are you doing? Okay, you guys go here. God dang, is this a mess or what? There are only 41 divisions left, which is great, but still. Yeah, in the future, I might actually use more tanks. I mean, we're using conventional warfare, which is not great, but we're not using the trooper side of warfare of those tanks, so. Making them count? Yes, please. Good old Custer. Big ol' took him against us there. We'll get there. Nice. Happy August. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Get up there. Liberate our soldiers. Ah, now I get supply. Thank God. Hey, there goes the Marshall Republic too. Fantastic. There, you can have that too. Damage screening doesn't really matter. Infantry's doing all right. Life giver, yes, please. Oh, there, man. Hey, oh, we got him! Look at that! You know what? I'll be honest. I wasn't really, cons you know, keen on using tanks in this campaign, especially at the beginning, but <clears throat> they actually really saved her butt this time. 
all that speed that they have on the tanks that's very mobile very strong fantastic and there's byron's irie you know we did even faster than uh us finishing the focus tree which is kind of cool but also we have a couple other focuses down here too such as clearing up the ruffians whether they're jacksons ruminators or worse we can see quite clearly that all the reference of only one of some more bad neighbors outlaws and trials will find that we're more than capable of bringing them to heal <clears throat> and now a new nation is born we've outgrown the irie becoming something much more settlers flock to our towns and the families have grown truly wealthy while our military has become one to be feared it's time to celebrate the birth of something new that'd be great um yeah. Don't start doing that because we literally have no manpower left. Oh god, there's uh, quite a bit of resistance up here, isn't there? Well. Alright. We did as much research as we possibly could all across here. I mean, it's 2286. I mean, I, I play my campaigns pretty gosh darn long, don't I? Um. Halo gliders, that's nice. Cool. Now let's go here. I mean, if we want to, we can make some pretty sweet uh, ships. But I forgot, so we got that we also have these office core things we can modify with too. So I did choose uh, for this one. <clears throat> what is it? Spirit of the Army. I mean, we're a pretty rich nation. I, I assume we would be using a lot of mercenaries. Trade militias would be bad, though. Vast battle plan organizers for tactics selection. Experienced scout platoons. Organization loss was moving was down. Fight for freedom. Rush training programs. Only the strong survive. Ooh, attacking division speed and HP. Take from the weak and give it to ourselves. Take from the rich and give it to ourselves. Only the strong should have everything in this world. Bear keeps an opus. That's only, that's only the strong survive. I like that one. That's best us lining. Alright, what else we got here? That one. Um, let's see. Let's see. So, how do we do this one? Oh, we need more manpower. So, the idiots of Marshall aren't adjusting well to actually having leadership or real laws to follow. The last thing I want is an open revolt, so it's time to nip this in the bud. Offer deals uh, to some of the more cooperative clans to start them fighting amongst themselves. We play favorites for a while and shoot enough of the troublemakers should end up on the top. But enough of them loyal to us to keep the rest in line. Makes sense. Hey, you get a, a more compliance with less resistance. In search of a back to stab. I've done well, yes. More and more tax flow into the coffers and everyone who's around here is in my pocket. It doesn't feel like I'm done, however. Now when there's always more enemies to be found and destroyed. Clean rifles and boot, your boots polish. You must be ready to strike at a moment's notice. I mean, that baby. Yeah. Cool. Beautiful. Can we go to war against a war? Oh, they're fighting Marvel, so. Interesting. Oh, I can't do this one either. It has not, re oh, has not researched inter air, intermediate air tech. So that's weird. Can you get sophisticated air tech? Eventually, that'd be actually, I think, more fun. But that's just me. I mean, it is Wyoming. What do you expect? Ooh, roads. Yay, roads. Um, here you go. There you go. Radar, all these planes, all these ships. <coughs> so now we're hurting for manpower. Not ideal. Are we mobilizing anymore? No. Nice. So we're going to do that. We're also going to run out of manpower soonish, so. 13,000 is pretty good. 13,000 down here is pretty good, too. And that'll get us closer to other areas that we can core. Because technically, we can core some of the stuff around here. 97? Oh, that'd be worth it. Anything else? Oh, the penitentiary? Yeah. I'm not sure why we can core this one first, but that's alright. That should be enough manpower for now. For the next couple days, weeks, hopefully. We are also getting the weekly manpower to man rifle territories. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it is what it is. Uh, this will help us out. New citizens care package. It's a military academy. We don't really need that anymore. Expand slipways. Um, water, trade income, sanitation development. You know what? You never do stuff like that. Grain solicitations. More monthly population. Sure. The purpose uh, energy cells. State funding. I like that one a lot. So no vehicles. We lose 50 manpower, but we should be. Oh! God dang it. Well, 
Oh, it's because of this. There you go. <sighs> oh, I thought I clicked that. Whatever. Restore our cabin creek solar farm. Well, we're gonna lose 200 manpower, so I'm not gonna do that one yet. Spring buffer mechanism. There you go. Just get her done. We got 20 more days, and when do we need to go to war by? January, February 2nd. So it was pretty close, but you know, still. More monthly population, drastic measures, no thanks. We don't need that one either. Building slots, research speed. Oh, we're good on all that stuff. We have a decent amount of vampire. You know what? I'm gonna risk it. Risk it. I don't wanna go to war yet. Just wait until we get this one like done, and then we'll be good. And they ride for us. <clears throat> the ever east ever remains threatening, with a thunder of hooves and war drums echoing across the wide open plains. Should such a cacophony come for us, we must be prepared to defend what is ours. Hey, we got it done, thank god. Oh, let's go to war now. You know, there were the Mylarx, we're gonna just find them too. Oh, we can't. They're too far away from us. No. Well, we're done with all that. those. We're done with all these. We're done with a lot of stuff. It's pretty nice. I guess the one thing, I mean, we did change nations. We are the Anetica. Um, which is, you know, cool. But I kind of wish that we could become something else. Like Wyoming. The state of Wyoming. That'd be really cool. I don't know, I've never been... Have I been to Wyoming? I think I might have been in Wyoming once, maybe. Slightly. Maybe. Perhaps. Wow, that's a lot of losses. Of course, mostly against Myrlurk tribes. Good job, Myrlurks. Oh, you're almost literally dead, though. Can we just find you yet? No. Got it. The more we fight, the more manpower we gain. Stab in the back, huh? Oh, Stang Rock is gone. Yeah, they got killed. So, uh, no wonder we can't do that focus. But, I think we made Wyoming proud. Or, I guess we should say Anetica. Good job, Annette. Ruthless Baron. Anetica. Can you imagine? You're stuck between United Mexicans, Texas, the NCR, and then there's giant Wyoming. This will be probably the last one we do this episode. This campaign, really. Let's go for the warren, y'all. I mean, it's pretty open. Beautiful. Oh. Yeah, I don't know how much we can actually get out of this because the other group has way more war score than us. There you go. This is going to be ugly. Oh, god dang it. This, this is going to be really ugly. Yeah. Not ideal. Well, that's not too bad. You know, we've done really well. Oh, time heals all wounds. Annette looked down at her father's pocket watch, <clears throat> observing the hands ticking along through the cracked glass. It had been quite a while since his passing, while there were part of her that surprised her in the missing him. She had long since fully replaced him as far as the Irie was concerned. The Baroness was master, and everyone else either respected or feared her, exactly as she wished. She made her way out onto the porch, poured herself a glass of wine, and considered the stars overhead. Why was she so wistful lately? She wondered. Eventually she came to her, she was lonely. Savannah was still a devoted partner in crime, but becoming Baroness had changed how everyone else treated her. Understandably so, considering that she demanded it of them. Another glass of wine later, she her thoughts returned to Ezekiel. He was still out there somewhere, regardless of the bounty on his head, not that she'd actually want anyone to find him and bring him in. Looking out into the night, she said aloud to herself, Well, if I want him back, I can have him back, can't I? It's my country. She went back inside with a, with a bottle of wine and drafted messages to her agents, instructing them to cancel the bounty and find Ezekiel. She then wrote a letter to be delivered to Ezekiel. 
As soon as they found him, that would welcome him back. Hopefully right back into her arms. He'll come. Won't he? Well? I don't know, is there more story, more story to this? We got to have a so they ride for us, but we can't do that one because they're dead, so... And we can't do this one because uh, we would have intermediate air tech. And we can't do this one because... Reasons. Um, we already have intermediate naval tech, so... In any case, sophisticated naval tech, that'd be cool, but... I assume that's going to be it for us. That's a good way to... And, you know, you never know. She wants her uh, Zeke, Zeke back, but... Oh, I guess I never did any of this stuff, too. Oh, well, it is what it is. If you enjoyed this campaign, though, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.